Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to another Nerdio Wednesday episode. And as you saw last week, I am doing a special little 10 week uh, sort of initiative, I suppose, where I am talking about my top 10 NME features. Um, so this is something I've just, I thought, you know what, it'd be a nice way to end the year. Um, this Nerdio Wednesday thing has been quite successful, been quite popular, so I thought, before I start my new version of this, which is going to be a collaboration, I thought I'd do, you know, and this is in no order, by the way, so I might I might do a little special episode at the end where I put them in order, but at the moment, it's just any order, but 10 features in anime that I really like. So, last week, you'll remember, I spoke about um, auto-scaling, and how that's one of my favourite features, of the intelligent auto-scaling. Uh, now, today, um, so it's something that's linked to that, kind of, and you configure it within that, but it's actually the self-heal feature within within the auto-scaling, I suppose. So it's a feature of a feature, almost. Uh, so we're going to have to workspace again as this SD one, if you remember, um, and I want to go to auto-scale and configure. Now, this is something that's right at the bottom, so we, we went through all this stuff, right? But right, right at the bottom, here we go. So you've got auto-heal broken host. So if we just go over here, this explains, you can detect can detect an attempt to repair broken session of VMs that are not being seen by AVD services available. So again, if you, if you ever remember in, uh, in native AVD where um, you know you you look at your host boards and they might you might have ten session hosts within there, there'll be like two random ones that have got a big red X not available. Look at the VM, it's online. Well, why is it not available? There's something wrong with it, right? But essentially, what this feature does is it fixes that. Um, so when they are showing is broken. This will this will repair that the auto operations will run when all scale our activity is complete and the system is otherwise state ready. So this after all the auto scale is done, still unhealthy ones. This will kick in, so it'll automatically detect them, um, and it'll so it'll auto automatically attempt to repair broken session hosts by restarting running script actions, scripted actions. So I might reinstall the AVD agent and, and deleting. So you need to obviously turn that on. Uh, so obviously when you disable it, it all vanishes. But if you turn that bad boy on. So AVD state. So what's the what's the available options here? You've got if it's in a shutdown state, so you can you can add all these. So you might be you know uh, no heartbeat. Uh, again, this is going to be different for you as an organisation, right? If it's logic's not healthy, blah blah blah, and has no active sessions. So that's quite important. If it has active sessions, it's going to be difficult for you to turn off without or mess about troubleshoot without affecting people. So you should really get those users off and put this in drain mode. Um, so the first action timeout, so this is saying minutes to wait after horse is detected to be broken before running the first recovery. Um, so again, depends on if it's no active sessions, you know, you might want to, you might want to put that lower down, etc. Um, so here are the recovery actions. So restart the VM, restart again, delete VM and recreate auto scale. There's, there's, um, add data disk, there's a sign list of this. There's all sorts. So these are all scripted actions, by the way. So these are the Azure runbook ones. Um, none of these are really good. <laughs> there might be one for reinstalling. So that would be one, reinstall AVD agent. I mean, that'd be a good one to do. Um, oh, reinstall. Yeah, so that's there. After you restart it, then the delete should be the last thing you do. And then time out between recovery actions. Again, 10 minutes is quite a good time, I think. But again, I'm just going to put that five. So once this is done, once it's restarted, how long should we give it before we restart it again? Okay, number five minutes. Okay, how long should we give it now? Okay, keep on doing five minutes. Um, and then again, make sure auto scaling is turned on. Obviously, I'm just for the purpose of demo, I'm not bother turning it on. Um, and again, I just love this feature. I think it's really, really powerful. Um, again, having um, having experienced this, where you know you do, unless you have, you know, your alert and monitor is going to tell you obviously that these session hosts are unavailable. You still need, rather than having for you to go spend time, it's going to save you time management, and troubleshooting, right? It's going to save your support team time. So you get an alert, but you know, you know, auto healing is going to kick in. Keep an eye on it. You don't have to do anything. And then hopefully by the first restart, if you're lucky, it'll get fixed. Might be the second restart, or you might have to, you know, it might just re re redeploy it. But it's always unavailable. It's in drain mode, right? So you don't have to worry about that. But auto healing is another, uh, so again, no order, but that's a second sort of feature within enemy that I, I think is that's in my top 10. It's in my personal top 10. You know what would be great? Comment down below what are some of the features you really like in Nerdio Enterprise Manager or your Nerdio Manager for Enterprise, however you want to say. Enemy, right? <laughs> what are your favourite? Uh, top 10. Give me your top 10 features, right? You never know, they might make it onto my list as well. 
Uh, so loads of useful links in the description. I'll, I'll put the, the link to the documentation on auto healing and how to configure that. Uh, but also a link to my exam topic series where I've done all Microsoft exams, walked through the, the content, and also done loads of labs and demos. Um, and also a link to my LinkedIn profile. By all means, count me on there, ask me any questions. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe button. I'm growing my channel. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky enough to almost be, be at 60K. That, you know, I don't have a, a target. I'm just going to keep on working hard and enjoying my content. Hopefully, you'll enjoy it as well. But hit that subscribe button. Make sure you do notify me. I do, I do start doing YouTube lives as well on certain things like exam topic, question and answers, and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, please do. Uh, I appreciate everyone's support. But if you're not subscribed, why not? Hit that subscribe button. Okay, thank you for watching. Until next time. Goodbye.